time. Give me that again. Give me Job 30 verse 16. Give me that scripture again. Job 30 verse 16. Uh-huh. And now my soul is poured out upon me. The days of affliction have taken hold upon me. Come on. My bones are pierced in me in the night season. And my sin will take no rest. And what's another name for Yahweh Shah? Warfare. A.K.A. Prince of Peace. A.K.A. Wonderful. A.K.A. Counselor. A.K.A. Emmanuel. A.K.A. Welfare. When you look up the word welfare, in that verse, it goes back to um, Yahweh Shah. It means salvation, deliverance. Liberty to save from moral troubles. Yahweh Shah is our welfare, man. Yahweh Shah is our welfare. Okay? He is our welfare. He is our strength. But in that verse right there, the uh, the niggas' welfare is who? It's the government. government. That's their strength. The government. They jobs. They fill, they pull a 1K plan. They rob IRA. That that is their welfare, man. But your welfare must be the the Most High and His beloved Son, Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shah. He is your welfare. He must be your strength. Okay? Right. He's your strength for what? For uh to save you from what? From troubles that about to hit the earth. You fact you texted me a scripture last um, yesterday. Give me that real quick in Isaiah 65. How the servants gonna eat. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Come on. Uh, Come on. Therefore, thus say the Lord, Behold, my servant shall eat. My servant shall eat. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. Behold, my servant shall sing for joy of heart. Uh -huh. But ye shall cry for sorrow of heart. Come on. And shall howl for the vexation of spirit. That's right. Shall howl for the vexation of spirit, man. Right now, in the last days, right, when all hell breaks loose on this island, the Most High gonna feed us. He gonna give us drink to drink. He gonna put us in the shelter where we can wash our ass, man. Because what? He's our welfare. Huh, that's right. Yeah, how shot is our welfare, man. I'm not knocking your brother that's on the welfare program. Okay, according to Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Read that for me, um, somebody. Um, Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. The Deuteronomy 28, verse 48. Come on. Therefore shall thou serve thy enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. In hunger, come and on. And in thirst. And in thirst. And in nakedness. And nakedness. And in want of all things. Uh -huh. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. Uh -huh. And until until he have destroyed thee. That's right, until we destroy thee. Now, if your brother's on welfare, I mean, that's fine and dandy. But put all your trust in Yahweh Bashem Yashah. Because those things are going to be taken away. It's going to be taken away. I mean, it could be no suicide because the welfare program is no longer there. Put your trust in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. All right? That's what we're trying to tell you. That come like um, in the days when um, of, um, Elijah, when there was drought in the um, famine, what did Yahweh did? He, he secured his, his, his prophet by um, causing the raven to come and feed him. That's right. He used, he used the raven to come and feed um, his prophet and he also directs his prophet to go by one of the widow's house to sustain him. So it show you where Yahweh, Bamasha, Yahweh Shah is our welfare. He will direct us where to go. That's right, brother. So look at that word welfare in Job 30 verse 16. What it's going to say? It's going to say Yahweh Shah. Salvation, deliverance, redeemer. To save from moral troubles. That's what welfare means in that verse right there, man. And the one in um, Psalm 69, verse 22, that welfare means shalom, peace. Well, it really goes back to who? Yahweh Shai name. Okay, so this is deep, man. That's right. Because a lot, there's a lot of fat bitches and niggas depend on um, Esau programs. It becomes an addiction. Let's go back to another demon. Let's go back to a Latin word, addictus, means state of being, self-addicted, habits to devote, consecrate, sacrifice, 
sell out, betray, to deliver. So you're dependent, they become an addiction when you're dependent on a program, not? Well, I can't live without ESO program. I need ESO programs. Now let's go to Isaiah 30. Isaiah 31 through 4. Isaiah because niggas put trust in Egypt, man. Isaiah 31 to 4. Come on. Woe to the rebellious children. I say what? Woe to the rebellious children. Come on. Say it to Yahweh. Uh -huh. That take counsel, but not of me. Yeah, they take counsel of who? The so called white man. They take counsel of Esau programs. Go ahead. Woe to the rebellious children, say it to uh -huh. That take counsel, but not of me. Come on. And that cover with a covering, but not of my spirit. Uh -huh. That yeah. they may add sin to sin. That, that, that they may add sin to sin. Come on. Is it 31 through 4? They walk to go down into Egypt uh -huh. and have not asked my mouth. They walk to go down into Egypt and have not asked at my mouth. Yeah, so they won't ask counselor from Yahweh about Shem El Shah. They ask counselor from the program uh, from uh Esau program. That's where they get their counsel from. Go ahead. To strengthen themselves in the strength of Pharaoh mm -hmm. and to trust in the shadow of Egypt. Yeah, they put trust in what? In America. Just like these niggas. That's not America, but they put trust in a, uh, in a government. And the government is linked with U.S. governments. Right. Because they have welfare here. Right. And once East, uh, uh, this East Indian, Kamala became prime minister, she locked off or cut down the welfare program to these niggas. As um, who was mentioning, this yeah. brother was mentioning earlier. The base of the as you know, they have a big program going on right now because the, the, the computer program that is supposed to be able to go online and sign up for Obamacare is a big program because that have glitches in it. Right? So they depend on everybody that say, well, you know, we gotta get this program on because we need people to go on to get this, to get the Obamacare, to get our welfare. You know, so, so that's just proving that, you know, they, they depend on and they, they addicted to it. That's right, brother. That's right. And that's why the Most High is going to cut off that SNAP program. Because government was spending 80 billion on a SNAP program. Now they cut it, they, they, they knocked off, uh, I believe it's close to 40 billion. So that's half of the full, that's half of the, um, the benefits that these niggas was receiving. They're going to cut that in half, man. And American is living off of a dollar and 40 cents a day on food. A dollar and 40 cents a day on food. And what's going to happen? It's going to be riots real soon, man. Real soon it's going to be riots. And that's what you get for depending on Egypt. Read on, brother. Yes. Yep. Shall the strength of Pharaoh be your shame? Uh huh. And the trust in the shadow of Egypt your confusion? Mm. That's right, confusion. Go ahead. For his prince who at Zoan and his ambassadors came to dance. They were all ashamed of the people that could not profit them. That's right. So the white man gonna be able to profit you. He profit you for a small moment. You better off being with your house Bushim Yasha. Because he's the Prince of Peace. He's a wonderful counselor. He, he ain't gonna uh, sustain you, man. Not this fucking white man. This white man's a devil. And first of all, you put so much trust in a SNAP program, the food that you get in, uh, in Walmart is GMO food anyway. And it's doing you harm. That's why you metamorphing to a fucking beast. That's why these black women and these niggas is metamorphing to a, 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 a whore. A, a pig, man, a boar, right. a creature, man. Go ahead, huh? They were all ashamed of a, a people that could not profit them, not be help but no profit. That's but right. a shame, of course, a reproach. Yes, a shame is a reproach. That's it on that? Yeah. So now, give me Isaiah 31, verse uh, 1 through 3. Isaiah 31. One to three. Yeah. Give me Isaiah 31, one to three. Isaiah 31, one to three. Go ahead. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. I say, woe to them that go down for Egypt for help. Because man, they got they got they got, they got people obsessed, man. 
obsession. They obsess what ESO programs. Okay, when you look at the word obsession, it go back to a Latin word obsessio. Obsessio, which means siege, blocking, blocking up, hostile, action of an evil spirit, action of anything which engrosses the mind. That means to take control. All right, you could be obsessed with a woman, man. That means what? The demons to control of your mind that you obsessed with this woman. Anything that she does, you gotta be, you, you gotta watch. That's a demon on you, man. And you're not supposed to be obsessed with no damn woman. There's too many women out here in the streets to be obsessed with one. And sometimes you don't know you don't have those demons until somebody pointing out to you saying, man, you got demons on you, bro. You got demons on you, man. And just like these two thirds, they obsess what 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 uh, with U.S. Um, government programs, right? That's an obsession. Anything that you put before the Most High and you adore, you worship, that becomes an uh, obsession. A lot of word obsessio, which means what engrosses the mind to take control of the mind, huh? Guess what? I had them demons on me, huh? I was putting trust in men. Every time I'm in trouble on this island, I'm calling brothers overseas, man. I'm calling brothers up overseas. Those demons overtook my mind. Until Elder Tahar and um, the elders got on me and among other brothers. And that's what that's why I'm thankful for having the elders in my life, man. I became a better man. And first of all, when you if you need help, it's what? Confess your sins. Confess your faults. You come in the truth talking about you don't got you 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 good, motherfucker. You a damn liar. You got demons on you just for that statement alone. You come in the truth and you think everything is okay. An obsession is a strong spirit. It's a strong spirit, man. Huh? Come on, go ahead. Water them that go down to Egypt for help. Go ahead. And stay on force. And, all, and also fear. A fear is a strong demon too. Oh, I can't go there by myself. I gotta have my man. I can't do this by myself. My man gotta be there. That's a demon on you when you can't do things by yourself. Or you gotta have your woman there. Or you gotta have your man there. You supposed to have fear in the Lord. And that's the beginning of knowledge. You gotta fear Him. Yeah. Woe to them that go down to Egypt for help. Come on. And stay on horses. Uh huh. And trust in chariots. Trust in chariots. They trust in their cars. They trust in their house. They trust in their money. But they don't put their trust in Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah. Go ahead. Someone that you probably obsessed with, most of the time, can, um, if, you, if you're too obsessed, you put in that thing, that thing before um, the most high, you can take that, um, anything that you. You can take your woman out, huh? Because you think brothers want her. Or somebody want her. Oh, nah, she can't go by house. I gotta be there. You know, that's a demon on you, man. I said, confess that force to one another, man. That's the beginning of Persia. Go ahead, read. Go to them that go down to Egypt for help. Come on. Stay on horses and trust in chariots because they are many and in horsemen. Mm -hmm. Because they are very strong. But they look not unto the Holy One of Israel. Yeah. They don't seek their power. Yeah, they don't look unto the Holy One of Israel. What verse you on now? I'm saying this one. Alright, go ahead. Those two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, 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 the Most High is supposed to be your strength. He's supposed to be your strength, man. Yahweh, why? Yahweh, shot. Also, his wife, and will bring evil, and will not call back his words. Yeah, he gonna bring evil. He gonna bring martial law on these niggas. He gonna he gonna bring famine on these niggas. He gonna bring pestilence. He gonna bring a sword. He gonna bring it. He gonna call back his word. He said.
said my words not gonna go null and void. Good, huh? I feel like rise against the hopes of the people to us. Come on. And against the help of them that go to the dignity. Uh-huh. This tree. Now the Egyptians are men and not God. That's right, the Americans, come on. And their horses. So-called white man. Good. Now the Egyptians are men and not God. That's right. Good. And their horses flesh and not spirit. When Yahweh shall stretch out his hand, God he that help it shall fall. Mm -hmm. And he that pull him. Your hopping shall needs to help. Hopping that goes to, uh, to the evil, the Edomites. You know, they, 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 oh, that white Jesus Christ, that's my Lord and Savior. They love that white Jesus Christ. They put trust in a white man. Good, huh? When Yahweh shall stretch out his heart, and he that is hoping, go ahead. And he that is haunted Come on. shall fall down. Yeah, the white man gonna fall down. Then what's gonna happen to your welfare program then? Go ahead, huh? And they shall, and they all shall fail together. They gonna to fail together, and he gonna fall with this um, this white man. It's a scripture that said the Edomites and Judah, and they all gonna fall. I think so in Jeremiah. All right, give me that real quick. Cause you put trust in the white man, you gonna fall with him. Give me that scripture. Jeremiah 926. Yes, beautiful scripture. Egypt and Judah. It say Egypt and what? And Judah. And Judah. And Edom. And Edom. And the children of Ammon. And the what? The children of Ammon. And the children of Ammon. Uh, Ammon. Ammon. Come on, Japanese. And Moab. And Moab, Chinese. And other in the uppermost corners. And other in the uttermost, utmost cor corners. That dwell in the wilderness. That dwell in the wilderness. All these nations are uncircumcised. And all these nations that are uncircumcised. And all the house of Israel. And all the house of Israel. Are uncircumcised in the heart. And uncircumcised in the heart. Come on. What's the next verse? Chapter 10. Chapter 10. Alright, and they're all going to be falling. Right? And they're all going to fall. Alright, what you got? Um, chapter 10. Alright, beautiful, man. Right? 25. Come on. The old days come, said the Lord. Come on. I will punish all of them which are circumcised. Go ahead. With the un uncircumcised. Yeah, so you're going to punish the circumcised with the uncircumcised. That's the two third niggas that depend on this white man for their religion, political, spiritual, and physical, man. And that's what the Most High going to bring the sword, the path, pestilence, the famine, and death. Because you depend on these damn devils, man. Give me Ecclesiastes, uh, Isaiah 32. Isaiah 32. 5 through 12. Isaiah 32, 5 through 12. Come on. The five person shall be known. Oh, we read that earlier. But give me um, Isaiah 32, 5 through 7. The five person uh -huh. shall be no more called liberal. Uh -huh. Nor the children set to, set to be bountiful. Mm. Verse 6. For the five person will speak. Billion. And it's happened with iniquity. Yeah, that's the white man. You're going to work work Iniquity. You're bringing a chip upon your niggas. He's saying gay rights is okay. He's saying if you speak against gay, that they could be able, they're going to lock you up. And that's what? That's immoral. Pause that for a minute. The bad person shall be no more called liberal, uh -huh. nor the churl said to be bountiful. Mm -hmm. Verse 6, for the bad person will speak brilliantly, mm -hmm. and his heart will work iniquity uh -huh. to practice hypocrisy uh -huh. and to utter error against Yahweh, to make empty the soul of the hungry, and he will cause the drink of the thirsty to fail. Yep, you're going to cause them to fail. Yeah, that's those programs, man. You're going to cause those programs, the wick. The housing, the snap, all those programs have fail because you put trust in this damn devil. All right? And this is what's going to happen to you in the last days, man. Give me Isaiah 9, 17, verse 20. Let me go cut up the camera time after this. Isaiah 9, 17 through 20. Isaiah 9, 17 through 20. Isaiah chapter 9, 17 to 20. 
Therefore, Yahweh shall have no joy in their young men, neither shall have mercy on their fatherless and widows. For everyone is an hypocrite and an evildoer, and every mouth speaketh folly. For all this, his anger is not turned away. Come on. But his hand is stretched out still. Yeah, his hand stretched out still. What? Through what? Through the prophets of the Lord. Go ahead, huh? Verse 18. For wickedness burneth at the fire. Come on. It shall devour the beery and Brian. the thorns. The briars. The briars and the thorns. Come on. And shall kindle in the thick in the thickets of the forest. Come on. And they shall mount up like the lifting of smoke. Read on. Verse 19. To the rock of Yahweh of hosts is a land darkened. That's right. America is darkened because what? There's no knowledge in that land. That's right. And the brothers are trying to give them knowledge in that land, but it's darkened. There's a gross darkness in that land. America. Go ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, darkened. And the people shall be as a fluid of fire. Few. No, no man shall spare his brother. No man's going to spare his brothers in those days. They, they ain't going to be like, hey, what's up, bro? You my kinfolk. <laughs> ain't going ain't, ain't to be none of that. They're going to say, nigga, I want to eat you, nigga. I want to eat you. <laughs> Go ahead. And he shall snatch on the right hand. He shall what? Right? And he shall snatch on the right hand and be hungry. And be hungry, come on. And he shall eat on the left hand, and they shall not be satisfied. They're going to be satisfied, go ahead. They shall eat every man the flesh of his own arm. It's going to be so bad in America, niggas going to be eating their own arms. They're going to look at that street. Ah, ah. That's how bad it's going to be in America, man. Read that verse again, ah. And, Read that verse And he shall snatch on the right hand. Because niggas like to eat. And be hungry. And there's chemicals in a fold like Church of Chicken, KFC, where it just make you more hungry. That's true. That's why you can't lose no weight. Because there's no nutrients and supplements in those foods. They have GMO. They have chemicals in there, man. MSG. Mighty certain group mate, where you don't feel full. You feel full about, oh, that's much. Because there's no vitamins in those foods. It's dead food that you eat it. Go ahead. Yeah, and, and when you